Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I wasn't even gonna make a video tonight because everything keeps going wrong. Um, my power keeps cutting out. Um, battery was drained for some reason. It's not recording. It's just a nightmare, but sometimes you're gonna have those days. But I really wanted to make a video because I'm kind of testing out a new scene here. I was videoing more over to the right, but I moved everything over to the left to kind of create some depth behind me. Obviously, I gotta clean all this up. It's very cluttered, but again, it's a working space. But I wanna get my videos more cohesive on YouTube, especially if uh, I hope to get more subscribers like you guys. Um, you can help me. <laughs> but I want it to all kind of look a little more cohesive. That's the name of the game, so a little bit better quality. But that's not really why I wanna film tonight or video or whatever we're doing here. The main reason why I made a video tonight is obviously I wanna test this out, running the XC4 in F-Log, bringing everything in the final cut and then grading it using an F-Log to Rec. 709 LUT. And then obviously putting, uh, you know, like a, an Eterna bypass or maybe just the Eterna LUT over top of it. But, you know, a couple months ago I went and I took a uh, vacation with my wife to Savannah, Georgia, a place I absolutely love. Things have changed a little bit there, but um, I actually brought a camera that I often shoot on the street and I absolutely love. And I know I talk about it a lot, but I'm gonna talk about it again. And that is the Leica Q2. The Leica Q2 is just an amazing lens. Uh, <laughs> well, it is an amazing lens on the Leica Q2, but it's an amazing camera with an amazing lens. The Sumalux 28 millimeter 1.7. This lens is fast, it's snappy. Um, the camera is just a killer on the street and it's just probably my favorite camera to shoot street with. And uh, you know, it has the resolution to boot too. So, uh, you know, you can crop in and, and it's just, I, I, I can't say enough about it. You guys know I talk about it all the time, but I love it. So what do you want me to do? I'm gonna talk about stuff that I love, right? Um, but I'm gonna show you some images with the Leica Q2, some stuff that I, uh, you know, graded in Lightroom using some of my Kodachrome presets and also some of my new Cine, uh, cinematic or Cine, Cine collection. Uh, that's the newest one out right now. Uh, they don't really represent any film stock in particular. Obviously I wrote Kodachrome V2 to kind of mimic the vibrancy of uh, Kodachrome, those vibrant colors and that, you know, reminiscent of film stock, but, uh, you know, positive slide film, but neither here nor there. It's just fun to use, uh, gives a nice color grade, an overlay. There is a YouTube video about that, me editing with that, but I just wanted to share with you some images from Savannah, Georgia. Um, nothing special, nothing crazy, but just atmosphere kind of shots, just uh, shots on the street. I really didn't interact with anybody. I, again, I was away with my wife. Um, I really didn't you know, take any portraits of anybody. I was getting a little bit of a weird vibe down in Savannah. I absolutely love the city. I've been there many times. It, it was almost like a, a home away from home for me. But uh, I hadn't been there in like four or five years and I went back down this time and uh, things just seemed a little bit different. It just seemed, uh, you know, I had a couple run-ins. Some things were a little hostile and I wasn't too excited about being there. And I wasn't really too excited about taking my very, very expensive Leica out on the street, especially at night. I just didn't feel like it was a smart thing to do. And that's one of the things that you have to gauge sometimes when you are a street photographer is putting yourself in a position that may not be the best. Um, so you really have to gauge each situation uh, individually and uh, just, you know, kind of make a judgment call. My judgment call was really not to shoot at night. Now I did get some night photography shots uh, but I was walking in a group. I was on a ghost walk tour. They're fun to take down in Savannah, Georgia. And the guide was great. So I was with a large group of people. So I had my camera with me. But, you know, even then it was a little sketch. Um, once we left the tour and we had to walk back to the hotel. And that's never been the case for me in Savannah. I've always had nothing but, uh, you know, an amazing time down there. But I just did not feel a hundred percent and that's not to say that you know the people are not amazing down there i just think that there's a little bit of an element right now that has to kind of um you know you got to kind of just make your best judgment call uh during the day however i did get some awesome shots awesome for me i thought they were great <laughs> i had a lot of fun but again it, just another chance to use the q the the q2 um just an amazing camera i'm not going to keep rambling on and on about it because you guys know i talk about it enough and it is fantastic. So 
if you are in the mood or in the market for a fast, stealthy street shooter, 28 millimeter lens, and if you want a Leica, then I would not hesitate to tell you to go and pick up a Q2. Um, new cameras are coming out on the market. The new uh, M11 just released. I have an M10. I absolutely love my M10. I'm probably more excited about the new Visoflex, Viso, Viso, Visoflex coming out uh, and working with the M10 than I actually am maybe the M11, but I haven't had my hands on one yet. I am on the list to get one. Uh, so when the M11 does come in, I will do a, uh, an in-depth review on that. But until then, M10 for me, and again, in this series, shooting in Savannah, Georgia, the Q2. All right, guys, I hope you like the images. Uh, you know my platform usually. I don't script anything. I just, I'm a one-take guy straight out the gate. I just ramble on and on. You could probably tell that by now. But I hope you like the images, images to follow, like, subscribe youtube things and you know what to do by now i mean how many people tell you what to do on youtube it's got to be getting annoying i don't want to be that guy but i guess i just did that so i guess i am that guy well what i don't know enjoy the images later